Hey, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and today I am sitting here on my Samina mattress or Samina bed. Uh, Samina sleep system I think it's probably called. Anyway, uh, this is what I regard uh, as the healthiest mattress in the world. Uh, I spent a lot of time looking into mattresses. You can look at my report on that um, at alexfergus.com. And um, yeah, this is the one that came out as the best. However, it is very expensive. Uh, yeah, we're talking over $10,000 um, plus um, to get a bed like this. This is the, the king, I think it's a super king size. Um, I've been sleeping on it now for, I think it's about six months, maybe a little bit longer. Um, so I decided to put together a bit of a review. Well, it's quite an extensive review based on my findings and um, why you also might want to consider spending so much money on or an investment investing in uh, such a, an expensive yet premium high quality bed. Um, so this video is when I received the mattress I actually uh, recorded myself sort of unpacking it and setting it up and explaining how it all works. So that's what you're going to see uh, for the next I don't know, 10 minutes or so and then at the end of this video there will be another clip of me uh, doing a quick rundown of my thoughts on, on, on the bed. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be a link below to my site at alexvegas.com um, where you can read my review and they'll go into so much more detail than this video so I recommend checking that out. Um, if you're watching this at alexvegas.com, yeah, I mean watch the video or at least skip through parts of it so you get a rough idea of how the bed or how the mattress uh, works because it is a little bit different to a conventional mattress um, and then yeah, just, just read below and you'll find lots of answers to your questions uh, and as always feel free to leave a comment if you have any anyway enjoy look what I got boxes five big boxes this is actually my uh, Samina bed made so there we go made in Austria uh, just healthy sleep.com uh, shipped all the way from America cost me a bomb to get it here but uh, it cost me a lot to buy it anyway so uh, really excited about by this. Um, gonna put together a review after I've tried it and uh, slept in it for a while. Uh, but first, I, I gotta unpack it and set it up. I got a bed frame, but um, the New Zealand sizes are actually different to the European sizes, which this bed's modeled off. So I'm hoping it fits. It's actually out a few centimeters, so I might have to make some modifications. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna unpack this. And uh, given I've been sleeping on an air bed for for a few months now. Pretty exciting, hoping I can uh, get sleeping on it tonight, so. All right, so first thing I noticed, uh, this mattress protector, which feels really nice. Uh, it's got on here 100% foreign language that I don't know. Maybe someone can interpret that, but yeah, pretty solid mattress protector there. Feels really nice as well. Alright, next we've got the topper. Oh, bit of weight there. Um, so yeah, I got the Euro King, which is 180 by 200. Um, everything's in German, so I can't understand it. Anyway, I think there's two of these, so we're gonna put that one out of the way. Well, I go look for the other one. And we got a nice flyer here. All right, and yeah, this is the uh, the core base. If you're wondering how I, I know what's what, or I can kind of guess what's what, it's because I actually went over to the Smita um, LA office, uh, Bulletproof Hex, the Expo a few years ago. I'll put a link to that below. Um, not a few years ago, a few months ago. And I uh, spent some time on the beds and spoke to the makers and everything like that. Because uh, it is a big investment. I wanted to make sure what I was buying was decent and uh, they explained the whole system and how it all works. So anyway, this is the true core. 
the magic, the heart, foundation, whatever you want to call it. So this is where the mattress topper sits on. Um, I think there were two different types. One was a little bit firmer for me, and the other was a little bit softer for Rebecca. So I'm gonna have to figure out what this language is and um, what it means. All right, so we got the core base out. Oh, you can see it here. Uh, obviously, it's not gonna stay there. So I probably could sleep there. Um, and if you see this, I'm actually what I'm gonna do. You know, what, I'm gonna leave this down here. I'm gonna walk on it. So you can see how much support there is on this. It's amazing. Uh, so it's two layers down there. And I think this is like a latex support system. Uh, and you can see the support on there as I press down on it. And the spacing is quite close. I mean, I can just fit the tip of my finger through there. So you're getting that feedback on your back, which is why it's so supportive and, and good for your back. And um, as I mentioned, I'm, I got the king size one, but this just looks like a single, right? It's because there's two of them. In one of those other boxes, there'll be the other one, uh, which means if I'm on, or well, they go side by side, obviously, but it means if I'm on this one, which I will be, or vice versa, uh, if I'm on there and I'm bouncing around or having a bad sleep, my partner, Rebecca, she won't be able to feel a thing because she's on her own system. So it's that's why it uh, doesn't have a full slat system like most beds have. And then of course on top of this is the uh, mattress, mattress toppers, which I think is two or three of them. So um, in fact, these are so comfortable, you can sleep on this. This isn't meant to go on the floor. It's meant to sit on the, the support frame. But I'm just thinking about it, even if my support frame, the support frame isn't the right size, I'm gonna to have to make some adjustments. Worst case scenario, you could, you could probably sleep on this. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm actually gonna lie on it. Uh, all right, Oop. all right. So it's actually really supportive and quite comfortable. And I'll have to do this from the side, but the thing I like about it is you can support all throughout. So I can feel these wooden planks from my calves, my quads, my glutes, and then my lower back, all right? So there's enough support in this that it's pressing up on my lower back all the way through my shoulder blades. Uh, not quite on the back of my neck, but obviously you're not sleeping directly on this uh, and you will wear it. Oh, where you will probably have a pillow of some sort. Plus, there's the mattress topics, all right. Um, but the good thing about that is there's no like hard spot spots or like tight spots where um, you know you're getting a lot of loading on the glutes, but they're not on the lower back, and then a lot of loading on the shoulder. It's it's all spread out, which is why it's so cool and why I'm so excited. So uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so you can see how thick that is. It's like a sandwich, uh, and there's three cushion things there. One, two, three. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep on packing. All right, so here we got the second base. So, the other, I can't remember the numbers on the other one, but I've got some numbers on here as well. I think one of them was firmer than the other, so I need to check which was which. But anyway, the other one was on the bed, so. Uh, check it out. Fits pretty good. I'm uh, pretty pumped to get on here. Obviously, that's not the finished product. Uh, we still need to put these toppers on. But honestly, for anyone that's, um, you're not gonna believe this, but you could sleep on that alone and uh, it's it's that comfortable. But for anyone that's actually light on a Semina and uh, maybe seen them in the expos in America or in, in Europe, uh, generally they have half with the mattress topper on it and then half just with the support. And uh, they get people to lie on the, the support first and it's like well, why do I want to lie on that but once you lie on it like the reactions always the same so like, oh my god I can sleep on this alone it's so comfortable so um, anyway so when when Rebecca gets home which will be soon I'm gonna get her to jump on it first and, and she's never been on it before so it'll be interesting to see her reaction but uh getting a bit of a sweat on here uh, I'm gonna keep unpacking and um, yeah we'll get everything all set up all right so I'm up to box 
four, I think, or five. Uh, we have another. Oh. Sorry, there's a bunch of stuff in the background. Anyway, we've got another um, mattress topper. Again, with more numbers on it. I always find out what these mean. Uh, 9 slash 200, 7.5 centimeters, and then a handwritten number. I want to find out what that means. So we've got that, and then we've got a pillowcase or a pillow protector. Nice. And a Samina pillow. This is cool. So these pill pillows are really good. I actually got a pillow, a Samina pillow, when I was in the States. Because the hotel I was staying at was, um, had really thick pillows and I like thin ones. So I've been sitting on that for a while and it's, it's been a godsend. Like, I travel with it now, but it's super thin, like super, super thin. Too thin for most people, but I love it. So this one, I don't know what that number means. But, uh, this is, this is this one, so. Yeah, it's so nice. This has got, like, the latex core in it. Uh, you can see the core and then it's wrapped in this wall and cotton so the good thing about it Samina is all their products are like the material they use is the best of the best um like the wool all organic wool and not only is it organic and, and stuff it's uh well i believe it's organic um it's all from it's not treated it's not processed so a lot of wool even if it is organic it's then processed afterwards and you know with a bunch of chemicals and god knows, god knows what else but this one's all it's all legit uh it's all well looked after traditional farming methods and everything like that so um yeah if you're into health this stuff's like the bee's knees all right here we have so we've got the the core whatever you want to call this the core foundation and then we've got the top layer which you can see here is 100 percent cotton and 100 percent natural latex so i think that's like about seven or eight centimeters thick and then there's one more topper to go on that, so that's why it is a three-part system, and um, they're all designed to work as one. Uh, so yeah, getting excited. One more to go. All right, and here we have layer number three, which, as you can see here, is uh, cotton and sheep wool and bio-ceramic so then that goes on the top and that's one uh that's the whole king size so it will cover both sides so there won't be any there won't be any uh seals in the middle but before we put that on so rebecca just got home so she's going to do what i call a semina test and see the uh see this bed that i've been raving about for, for ages so i hope hope she's happy um anyway rebecca you need to go on the slats first All right, so we've got the end product here. Pretty happy. So, like I said, three systems. The uh, core, the latex, and the wool topper. And then there's also a mattress protector here as well. Um, and then I've got some, uh, where have they gone? Got some organic cotton duvet. Yeah, ignore this. This is our stacked up uh, air bed. Um, organic cotton duvet cover and sheets. And then, uh, um, I think there was an organic wool, uh, what do you call it, duvet thingy. So, happy days. It's good to finally get out of the air bed. And uh, I'm looking forward to sleeping in this. And, yeah, I mean, I'm going to check back in in a few weeks' time and give you guys some feedback as to how I'm finding the bed. But, for now, I'm going to go enjoy my new bed.
All right, I hope that was uh, informative and you now have a better understanding of how this mattress works. So, uh, I just want to finish up with a quick review. And again, um, alexfergus.com, I've got a really uh, lengthy, comprehensive review on the mattress over there. Um, so, if you are interested in buying one of these or want to learn more about it, I recommend checking that out. Um, this review that I'm going to do now is just going to be a quick overview. So. What do I like about the bed? Uh, obviously, the materials. Um, it is all, you know, natural materials. There's no um, VOCs. There's no metal in the frame, which is good for, you know, uh, or, yeah, good for avoiding the non-native EMF issues. Um, the organic rubber, organic latex rubber. Um, the wood is untreated wood. There's no glues. Uh, cotton organic cotton and the wool it's all uh traditionally um harvested and processed so it's honestly like top top quality um so that's all good because you are spending well at least i am spending about nine nine and a half hours a night uh on this thing so you know i don't want to be in close proximity sleeping on something that you know is off guessing um god knows what so that's that's a good thing uh the support on this bed uh, again if you i'm assuming you've watched all that video um so i'm not going to go around and show it all to you now but the support is is really really good there's good spinal support there's no um hard points you know there's no pressure points it's not like all the uh contact goes on your shoulders or or hips or anything like that um when you lie on the frame and you would have seen this you're getting uh, support at all points on the body, which is really really good. Another thing I really like about it is the the dual I don't know if they've got a name for it, but like the independent slat system. So um, If I'm on the left side of the bed my partner's on the right side I move around it doesn't transfer that energy it doesn't transfer that movement over to her um, That's honestly one of the best things uh, I think other than the materials because if one of us is having a light sleep, you know, or gets up during the night or comes to bed late, um, there's very minimal partner disturbance. And um, that is something, you know, as a sleep coach, uh, I'm big on, you know, trying to minimize external disturbances, sounds, noises, um, temperature fluctuations, and of course, movements uh, from someone else in your bed. So, yeah, that's huge. And I've noticed that, and so has Rebecca, my wife. Uh, we've noticed that big time since we've been sleeping on the Semina. Um, in fact, like we recently stayed at a friend's house and uh, just slept in a, you know, just a normal mattress. Um, and we noticed straight away, like, you know, how the other one would roll over and would sort of bounce around and be like, oh, annoying. So, um, yeah, that's definitely one big plus. Um, if you sleep with someone who does move a lot or you are a light sleeper then that that's a big plus if you are looking at getting these mattresses now the good thing is like the ventilation so you get really good airflow under it uh the slat system um i mean to be honest there's only probably about uh, four inches of actual mattress you know what you think of a uh, traditional mattress and then you're on the slats and then there's nothing on the slats so um you know you're not sleeping on 20 30 centimeters of thick foam um, that's not getting airflow on it and I've noticed like I, I, I don't get as stuffy doesn't get as hot uh, under the covers and stuff which is good haven't been through summer yet but um, comparing it to an Acosta mattress I have in the spare room uh, this is definitely a lot more airy um, so that's good as well uh, what else what else have I got to talk about I cover all this in the blog so you probably want to go and check that if you are like keen to learn more about this I just want to do a quick overview um, the downsides obviously cost it is very expensive um, especially if you live in I just know this is a bit of a wobble so I'm gonna there we go especially especially if you live a long way from America or Europe because these are made in Europe um, so this came from the America American uh, warehouse in LA um, yeah, so you're paying, paying a lot for freight and then um, obviously the cost of the mattress itself is it's very high like it's a premium product all right and there's no you know there's no no point trying to um dodge that i mean that it is what it is it's it's you know the top of the top when it comes to bedding and mattresses so um yeah i mean i'll mention that as a bit of a downside but i mean it is what it is right like you don't i guess if you're reviewing like a rolls royce you wouldn't say the downside is the cost because everyone knows they're expensive but you know for some people that is going to be off-putting and that's 
totally understandable. However, however, if you break it down, you know, I expect this to last me 20, maybe 30 years. Um, you break it down, you it's probably only costing you, I think I did the math on my blog, it's like $2 or less than $2 a night um, to sleep on a high quality, well built, you know, mattress uh, or bed. And if there's two of you, then it's less than a dollar a night, right? And so, like, if you think to yourself, well, if you went to bed every night and you could pay a dollar to to sleep on a, a bed that had no toxins, no glues, no off-gassing, um, organic materials, uh, and had minimal partner disturbance and good airflow regulation, um, you'd probably pay that, right? So if you think of it that way, I mean, yeah, you can probably justify the costs um, a lot easier. Um, what else? Oh, the other thing is, it is quite a firm bed. I mean, probably medium firm on the scale of, of hardness. Uh, my, oh, even maybe closer to firm. Um, I'm okay with it. The first few nights, I was like, well, this is, this is quite stiff. Um, my partner took a little bit longer to adjust, and even now, like, some nights she'll wake up, and, you know, when she's not sleeping well, and she'll be like, oh, this bed's too hard. Um, so that's something probably to keep in mind if you are a fan of really soft, uh, mattresses, it might be a big jump if you go straight into the Semina. Um, how, however, saying that, two things I should mention. One is you can get supports that go under the hip and the, the shoulders, um, but obviously that's going to be another cost. Um, and two, I don't have the proper Semina bed frame, alright, so the one I got in the back was uh, just the standard slat frame I got here in New Zealand um, for about $500, and I modified that so this uh the Semina system could work with it and um yeah i wonder if that is also causing a little bit more stiffness uh in the bed than i should be getting if i had the proper frame the reason i didn't get the proper frame is because it was going to be another thousand dollars plus all extra freight and import duties and, and everything and i was already stretching my budget to get the the mattress so um anyway that's something to keep in mind um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, we're both happy with it. Uh, you know, my sleep's great. You can see my ordering data on the blog at alexfergus.com. Um, my sleep scores, you know, still 85s to 90, low 90s. Um, unfortunately, it was very hard to, um, quantify exactly the change in my sleep with this because we got it just when we got married and we had our honeymoon and then we moved house. Um, so like there were so many variables changing. So it wasn't like... I had all this data and then I changed bed and you can see, all right, the sleep changed. But I'm saying that the sleep's cons consistently good. So that is a good thing. Um, and yeah, my partner's happy with it anyway. So um, yeah, that's good. I don't really know what else to say. If you do have any questions, look, head over to my blog because there's a lot of uh, information there. If you don't know why I'd spend so much money on, on a mattress or why you would as well, um, read my article, How to Choose a Toxin-Free Mattress, which was what led me to Semina. I mean, I wanted to get a really good quality mattress for myself and my my partner. And, you know, if we want to have kids, I wanted to know we had a mattress that was healthy for them. Uh, and that was a couple of months worth of researching and, and looking into all sorts of different manufacturing protocols and, and companies and everything. And um, that was what led me to Semina. But anyway, I documented that process and everything I found. And there's a lot of things I found and, and I discovered, which kind of scared me. I documented all of that in the uh, How to Choose a Toxin-Free Mattress. So check out that and then you might want to check out the Semina article. The Semina article goes into a lot more detail about this product. Um, this video is just a quick overview. Though I'm taking up a lot of time, aren't I? So anyway, um, otherwise post a comment below or head off to the Semina website. I think the American website, it is uh, justhealthysleep.com and you can contact them. If you're in Europe, you can probably go straight to the semina.com website. Um, otherwise, yeah, leave a com comment below. I'll do my best to answer it and um, be sure to head over to alexfergus.com and check it out and subscribe and like and all those other cool things. I'm um, heading off to do some more work. Bye.